And hello everyone, I am Daniel and I'm playing Martha is Dead. It's a horror game with scary shit and all that other fun stuff. All right. Please adjust the brightness until the image in the left is barely visible. Uh, how about I do something else first, actually, because this sounds like a better idea. Because this is a very mature game, uh, so I want to go put the 18 plus filter thing on here. Um, because I, I don't want any kids to be like, Oh, hey, yeah, this looks like a fun game, and then, like, see brutal murders and stuff like that. And, um, loads of other shit, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, let, let, let's go rectify that. Is this made for kids? Yeah, this is totally made for kids, so no. Gotta do this when I was, uh, in that, but I was, li I was liking the music too much, you know? I was like, oh, wow, this music's great. This music is amazing. I like this music. Age restriction. Yes. Do I have a thumbnail for it? Conveniently, I do. Okay, let's put our thumbnail on this. There we go. Let's pause that. My computer is just spinning up a storm. I am wildly impressed about that that it is pushing it uh, as hard as it is just to play this game. Not sure how I feel about that either. It is loud. Like, I know right now it's kind of like um, you, you can't hear because of the noise filter, but if I turn the noise filter off on my microphone, you will hear it, and it is loud. It is unbelievably loud, which truthfully is kind of concerning. All right, let's do this. Uh, please adjust the brightness until the image is left and barely visible. I think this is probably good. Because I know OBS will automatically darken things anyway. Story of Martha is Dead, and its featured characters are works of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable uh, scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually upsetting uh, and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who fi uh, may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of uh, human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. Uh, the short version is, you all have been warned. If you're still here, even after I put the 18 plus rating on this thing, that's your own fault. Okay? That's the disclaimer. That's how this is going. Good. Yes. Good. Moving on. If you or someone you know is struggling, uh, information and crisis resources are available at safeinourworld.org. Find help. Ciao. Considering I'm Julia. Julia K. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929 when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. New chapter, The Legend. Nanny, will you tell me the story of the White Lady? No, little sparrow, not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes, I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. 
She still scares me a little though. Soon I'll be a young woman and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes, very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. Um. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. <laughs> According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. She was expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire that death not love was awaiting her. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and to roam the woods, looking for her long-lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth, even just for an instant. The lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. What kind of child wants to listen to a fucked up story like that? No, seriously. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories did not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals or whatever else was in that damned place. New chapter, The Lake. 
so like is this entire thing all story driven like do i do i have very little interaction time oh yeah sure uh can, can i move anywhere nope it's uh i am locked here looking down at my feet those are nice feet look at those feet gauging for my size i'd probably say i'm 12 foot 5 um no i'm kidding i'm probably like five foot four all right interact Reel off the film. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. What act moments here? Put the new film in. Close the camera. Load the film. Activate the timer. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. Something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. What? Is that a person? I must help them. I was horrified and then the she died someone might have drowned in my lake the lake was my world where I would spend entire days daydreaming I would lose myself in my thoughts but that was a rude awakening so terrible <laughs> I, I'm not sure at all, Wildy Bear. I'm not sure at all. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that's, that's definitely a body. It's a body! Guys, I found a... I finally found me a new girlfriend. She won't complain either. I know, dark humor is horrible. I but hey, I'm playing a very dark game. was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. <laughs> I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible Rip. to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. First thing you do is collect all the inheritance. I have to stay calm. Martha is not dead. Hey, look at my legs. I have nice legs. These are fine-ass legs. <laughs> Skinny <not> dip. <laughs> There's no need to worry. All right, let's get. Let's see if we can uh, help her out. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. She's dead, I have Jim. To stay calm. She was worse than dead. Martha is not dead. D E D dead. It's not true. 
Oh, she has dog tags? Why does she have dog tags? Martha. Martha. February 26th, oh. 1923. Two days after this legend was born. In quite a few years. Eh. Did, did you just pill for your dead sister's jewelry? Are you hurt? What are you doing? Go, Eerie, run! This is gonna My get- My parents uh, ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade, so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. You put on a necklace? To pretend to be Martha. Forever. New chapter, the body. But I have to do one thing real quick. I'm sorry. I forgot to do one very important thing on YouTube. Because I'm I'm dual streaming right now. Scraper only mode. I had spam bot come in just now. Totally forgot that. I gotta ban this guy. There we go. Yeah, in all fairness, she doesn't actually need, um... She she doesn't, uh, need the necklace. But now I have to be Martha, and that sounds like effort. Side of the cross, get up. Uh, I, well, I'm Italian, so I guess I side of the cross. life to the dying. Let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit. So that I may be <laughs> united with her in perpetual light. To never Double suffer tap. the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Oh. Did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. Okay, so always find something for everyone ah, to do. Guns, got it. There's some guns right there, and I can double tap. Hints can be disabled within the game settings. It press escape to close. All right, I got. I found a gun. We can double tap now. Uh, there's notes. Did I read these? I feel like I should read the note. July 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. Monsignor Attilio D. July 17th, 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. Wait, why is that Lieutenant Colonel of the Army messaging me? Maria, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no reason to use the phone right now. Bitch, I want a pizza! I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. Uh. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. Did I just snap a photo of that? Why did I snap a photo of that? Hey, get up! Now you're faking! Looks like she got that shit kicked out of her, though. What the hell? 
moment I thought I saw. No, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. Um. Well, the bear had poked it and bad stuff happened. A telegraph box. I know how to use it. Daddy taught me. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. Oh, did your dad used to beat you with them? Like, this game's meant to be dark, so I am going there. We're in the witch. That's a woodcutting saw. That's a hatchet. There's dog food, but where's the dog? Well, besides the one right next to me. I mean, I tell you, this guy is gonna stain the rug. Look at that! Wine, half asleep, the wine glass tipping out in his hand. Well, he's also gonna piss his pants red. Um. Oh, okay. Guessing I'm lighting all the little candles. Got it. Okay. That's the beach. Didn't realize I was holding a lighter. Some um hexagonal zippo. There we go. And when you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this. You can't sit still for a second. Ah, uh, relatable. Very relatable. Yeah, you Everything know what this always has to be perfect with her. Marla Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Don't they normally repeat the message twice for coded messages? Where am I putting the flowers? Did, did, did you just want me to run around in circles around Martha? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, put the flowers there. Uh, could have been perfume. My beard is blonde. Okay, cool. There we go. The nice flowers there. Sounds like it's gonna be a lot of effort very soon. It sounds like the sound of effort. What's happening? Who closed the door? Erich, Erich, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all places. What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. Oi. Let me in. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Marta being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. 
Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Yui. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. I'm outside the door! While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me, too, that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Um... Okay. Uh, okay. As as lost Going to say soul? Soul, I'm guessing. Oh, yay! This shit's about to get trippy as fuck. Grab the popcorn, everybody! We're going for a dive. These are supposed to be nightmares. And pretty tame to be nightmares. Lady of the Lock. Ooh, spooky time. 
Is that a TARDIS? Oh, no, wait, that's the camera. I'm not seeing why this is a nightmare. I'm seeing this is like Friday the 13th, uh, parody. That's me. Jason Voorhees, where are you? Look away, everybody. This is gonna get disturbing. before Joker wearing his own face I'm saying California Ooh, I hope not I tell you how I got these scars Delightful. Bring in the cage and have a face off. <gasps> it was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. Huh. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo yeah. capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? New chapter, The Room! Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately, yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. How is that bright? How? I don't understand. It's literally a man hanging over a bed with a giant machete looking at children like this. Mm, I'm gonna eat you. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs, be chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. <clears throat> hmm. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Then why don't we open it? Wait, if somebody killed Martha's Martha. Clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes and the other wardrobe. Uh, it's July 1944. I always keep my trinket box locked. Yeah, so the other box was locked too. Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. The butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. Ah, uh, let's see. Can Julia. I be Martha without her clothes? 
Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she would take it. I could wear Martha's clothes instead, and the other wardrobe. Nope, this I like this one. only for special occasions. It's special? I'm alive. Sure, I'll go with that nice green shirt. How do I get into that trinket box? If it could solve everything, wouldn't it be a good idea just to like look into it now? Or does that make too much sense? It's supposed to be some kind of like murder mystery thing, right? With mixed with psychological horror. It's about half past nine. Lady, you literally took a plate and you put a clock on it. Okay then. Everything I need is always in my bag. Press B to open the bag. Yo, Julie, open Julie's bag. Here you can find objects that Julie always carries with her along with any ah oh, picked up during the game. Uh, objects are listed on the bottom left. Select the object to make ah uh, use or analyze it. Now try the key or the map thing. The key to my trinket box. You're quite key. Here is my diary. Julia's diary. Today I got an offer to uh, make July my own 12th, cooking show. 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life. A new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house, and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here, and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lafay more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. July 16th, 1944. Oh, well, that was it. Just those two pages. Yes, please. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to pull Martha down for dusting. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What this is think? not the right key. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. Okay, okay. I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So I'm already she dressed. Up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Ah. Right, my sister's deaf. Hello, deaf girl here. You can't hear. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not talking at all. La 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 la. See, I I am so good. I am a good daughter. I'm completely deaf. Old ship to run. Ah, gaming staple rules. All right, there's a shotgun that says. Okay, for a moment there, I thought it said genitals. It's locked. Strange. 
Why did they lock my room? As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for you. All right, all right, but let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Uh, I, I don't know. You probably could. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. All right, so during deep I'm winter, guessing I have to find I a key. To sleep snuggled by the fire, and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? Later. Operation I find liked key. Watching Nanny as she cooked, I always picked up loads of techniques. Am I gonna get DC made because of the music? Do they have a streamer mode? You know, I never checked. Do they have a streamer mode? Their mode on. Play. We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. The battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. Florence, July 15, 1944. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. Oh, great. I'm a Nazi. Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Uh, I, I'm not liking the idea that I'm a Nazi right now. The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. Not sure how I feel that I'm a Nazi. This painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. These hunting rifles are not Daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. It was down the basement. Sewing scissors? Okay. And a singer sewing machine. Hey, y'all, it's a singer. This could be of use to me. Mummy's sewing machine. She learned how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Yeah. That's interesting. Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. I don't know. Something feels off-putting about that. Like, it just how... Something seems off there. Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. There are three baths when developing photos. 
the development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. Before I can use the enlarger, I should take a photo. Daddy had this device bought here last week. It's old, but still works. He has always loved everything technological. This is very sus. It's very sus. I'm, ge I'm getting a lot of sus on this. These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. Oh, there's, there seems to be something suspicious about this whole place. You smell that? Murder. Oh, there's a letter. Lorenzini Haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Something, something definitely doesn't feel right here. Uh, a privilege for few people in these times. Eh. Julia, to take all more uh, and more photos, Dad. For Julia, to take more and more photos, Dad. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Right, the camera. They I want to eat first. Around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I will have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. By taking photos of my dead sister. That's how we'll do it. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Julia Kay. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30 p.m. Departing from the property of the deceased. Firm bulwark even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. I'm guessing this is World War II, based on what I'm reading. Is uh, is it during every like war? It's always Germany starting shit. All right, so we're gonna go find some birds.
Um, you're about to use Julie's camera. It's a 1940 roller coid with 120 millimeter film. Use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will uh, progress the game's story. While holding the camera, an icon will appear to indicate points of uh, photographic interest. This icon will uh, appear and become clearer as you get closer. Press E to see your camera and any fitted attachments. Look for your subject you want to photograph and press that to uh, continue or press Q to exit the camera mode. You're about to take your first picture. Uh, to simplify the simulation, the picture preview displays the settings as you change them on your camera in real life. The viewfinder's image is controlled by a secondary lens and only responds to focus. Okay, so... In the advanced panel to take a picture, uh, make your picture unique. To adjust panels, uh, controls, adjust focus the aperture, press, um, hit the extra tap, uh, okay. Now you'll find the camera's add-ons, you'll be able to use different lenses, filters, films, and various sensitivities and much more. Right now, however, you only have 100 ISO film. Closing this window, adjust uh, the camera, then press space to shoot. Okay, can I increase the focus? How do I... I don't know that's already. Distant. You're ready to take a photo uh, where an important feature of the story hasn't been correctly framed. If uh, you can continue, but the story may not progress. Uh, do you wish to continue? No. I'm like right up there. How, how do I uh, adjust the focus? Oh, okay. Congratulations, you've taken your first uh, photo. You can choose as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember uh, that only a few will be critical to the story's progress. Soon you will learn how to develop photos you've taken. Okay. Uh, I'm, tr I'm hitting continue. Let me continue. Excellent. Thank you. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Still not liking the fact that I'm playing as a Nazi? That is... Very strongly against everything I believe in. Oof. Oh wait, no dark rooms right here. To develop a photo, you'll first have to use the enlarger. The enlarger is an optical instrument that allows you to process photographic oh, paper. After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. This aspect has been omitted for the sake of simplicity, but in reality the steps are as follows. The film is firstly rolled onto the reel and put inside a small tank. The tank is then immersed in the developer, washed and then immersed in the stop bath. 
It is then washed again, dried out, and finally cut. You'll find your rolls of film already developed and ready for printing. Choose the image you want to print to paper. The preview on the left side uh, will help you choose. Of course, you will see images. Oh, uh, your images in the negative. The enlarger allows you to customize your photos even more. You can choose on which part of the paper the picture will be printed. You can adjust the focus and choose how long to expose the photographic paper. With the red filter, you can proje uh, project and see the image on the paper without exposing it. Use the controls to move the paper on the bench to adjust the magnif uh, magnification and focus. When three circles are aligned, the picture is all uh, focused. If you still see the image out of focus when aligned, you probably shot it that way. Play with the adjustment until you're happy when you're ready to pre uh, press space. Um. Oh, okay. Decision so okay in focus. When the red filter is removed, the image is exposed onto the paper. This process is automated and made faster than what happens in real life. Immerse the paper in the developer, and the image will appear. To achieve the ideal exposure, take the paper out of the developer when the timer is in the green zone. If you take the paper out too early or too late, the picture will be ruined. You have to print again. Real life immersion in the developer is also followed by a wash to stop the bath and then a second wash. The additional baths have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Here's the printed photo. You can keep it in your album or scrap it. You can print each raw shot as many times as you'd like. All shots remain all available to print at any time. Alright, so... That was an overly long and complex tutorial. I thought I was just playing a narrative game, you know? <clears throat> I don't know. I, I feel like I need to take a photo of this. Use the camera. Oh, somebody just tells me this is going to be important later on. I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's right. Nobody knows. I am an espionage expert. Sneaking in. Taking photos. <clears throat> Let's go take a photo of Martha. Hey, how you doing? Martha. Martha, smile. Smile for me, Martha. Morbid. Morbid. Yeah, there we go. Alright, what did I actually have to do? It's press K. Frame. A tripod is needed, then I can take a self-portrait. Okay. So I gotta go find a tripod. I think there was one upstairs. That door is locked. Door is locked. That's the bedroom. I still haven't eaten my breakfast. Uh, 
Uh, ba, 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 ba. No, I saw one. I, I saw a tripod somewhere. Like, I have a tripod IRL, so, like, you'd think it'd stand out to me. Is there one under, uh, under, uh, under the stairs? One downstairs? Did I walk past it? Oh, you know what? I probably did. Yeah, it was, like, right here. There it is. Right in front of the chair. Camera is set up with the self timer. Right. Start self timer. Uh. Silky. There we go. Can I can I grab my camera? Always so creepy closing that door. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they think I'm crazy. Crazy? I think you're nuts. Right now, we just play the waiting game. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. The soul in the photo! In the photo! I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened, but suddenly a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure, but deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Of course the door is locked. If the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. New chapter, the rolls. I like them with just a little butter, maybe a tiny piece of ham, filled with mashed potatoes and turkey. Mmm, ah, delightful. Lighter can be accessed from Julia's bag when not in use. I mean, oh, book, Julia's diary. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live. 
and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's, my sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake and now it's too late. If they find out I've been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be dead. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now and I felt incredible pain facing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. Partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. Mm. And my dead sister's still here. Delightful. It's dark and I can't turn on the lights. It's dangerous. I'll need a flash for the camera. I can look for it amongst Daddy's things in the room below his bedroom. I don't have the courage to use the phone. Not right now. Hmm. Oh, another camera. New skin unlocked. Oh, okay, that's all that was. Just, a, just another skin. Okay. So we're trying to get in there, but I can't. The we're looking for a room under my father's bedroom. That's still there. A There's the tripod. It's necessary to take photos with long exposures. Sure, that's true. But okay. Um. Uh, gone eerily quiet all of a sudden. I only hear the crickets. I need to find something that will give me a flash, but I can't use... Ah, oh, there it is. Yoink. Here's the camera flash. Now I can photograph Martha even in the dark. Yoink. And some film things. Nazi map. Daddy stuff. War maps. I've heard everything will play out on this new defensive line. Don't like being a Nazi. Oh, keys. I don't have the courage to use the phone. Not right now. Okay. 
So we got the tripod, we got the flash, we got all that stuff. Let's go take a picture of my sister. The camera can be used in the dark, oh, it can be used in the very dark lighting by attaching the flash. Okay. This camera, uh, let's see. Show adjustment panels. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. Wait, no, uh, I don't think I need the tripod. Do I? Do I need the tripod? Out of focus. Uh, okay. Ew. What do I need? Um, in focus. There we go. Damn it. It'd be nice to have you always by my side, even if it's just a picture. Taking photos of the dead people. That quality right there. Mmm, delightful. Oh, good times. Good times, right? With this lens, I can shoot very close up. Orange filter. When there is fog, it improves the image by giving it some contrast. Blue filter. Ideal for indoor photos. Huh. A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. I have found what I need to take infrared photos. Do I need to go back up and take another photo? But, uh, sure, why not? Let's, uh, take an infrared photo. Why not, right? Because if you're gonna go morbid, you go full morbid, right? Yeah, we... Uh, okay. Aspects. Uh, flash, yes. Infrared. Tripod. Blue filter. No, no, we, we want uh, the infrared. Uh... All right, there we go. We have now an infrared photo. And downstairs we go. Let's go develop these. In my creepy dark room. I don't know, there's just something about all uh, village places like this that make me all creeped out. Um... Get guessing this is the one I need to develop? A photograph is both the present and the past. 
like a dead body. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe it's silly to think you can capture the soul of someone who has died. Her face can no longer tell me if what happened was my fault. I should have known that already. All I can do is head to the lake and get those rolls. I bet you if I told my dad what happened, he would probably help me try to figure things out. Uh, but it sounds like my mother here is like a total asshole. And not the cute kind like me, but like a genuine asshole. Bum, bum, bum. Take the light. You've acquired the lamp! But now you have to illuminate dark spots! You know, to be fair, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. Like, I get it, it's a psychological horror, but I was half expecting, like, um... Oh, shit, I was half expecting, like, a jump scare or two, you know what I mean? Uh, and I am not getting that. Nope, not there. It will not lead me to where I need to go. How about in here? Nope. Nope, can't walk down there. It must stay on the set path. It is the law of the games. Hello? How you guys doing? Anything around here? I was afraid of animals when I was little. I never approached them alone. We have a generator? Really? Alright, can I come here? Nope. Okay, there's a lot more to this area than I thought there would be. There is a lot more here than I thought there would be. This is a pretty big game. Hmm. Yep, this is pretty big. I love the night. But this night scares me. In the dark, I can feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I hurt Martha. The closer I get to the lake, the more certain I am of this. How could it not be? I killed her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. How could I have done such a thing? Oh, photography moment. Uh, too dark. Okay. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. God only knows. Um. 
guessing this is where I gotta go. What a beautiful place. Nope. That says the tower, but I'm not seeing a way over. Yeah, the creepy music isn't helping either. I get it, you're trying to unnerve me, but you haven't given me any kind of jump scare yet, you know? Plus, if I think I'll get to a jump scare in a wartime uh, horror game like this, as an American soldier uh, showing up and I'm a Nazi. Below, I have come to give you freedom and all, oh, take your oil. That's all, that's how it works, right? Hmm. I'm guessing I'm going in the right direction when I hear that crow. Oh, yeah, I think I'm getting close. The, the wooden fence is saying it looks a lot familiar. Oh no, damn lamp. Luckily I still have my lighter with me. I mean, you're gonna really need to try better than that, guys. Come on. The cameras are somewhere around here. Yep, right there. Two cameras left. Oh, a UFO. I right, take the tripod too, or now. I, I don't even remember the one camera being set up. The UFO, everybody. All right, so we found one camera. Ah, there's another. One more camera to collect. And the last camera. A shred of fabric here in the woods. How strange. Let's take a photo of it and leave it where it is. That's it. I've got them all. These films are going to help me understand what happened. Now I should rush home to develop them. Uh, let's see. Out of focus. Okay. Use together with this filter allows you to photograph infrared radiation. It requires very long exposure times. Like these aren't color films, so how could it have ended up here? It looks familiar. Guessing, uh, ghost of my sister is going to show up here somewhere. Is this the route I got to take back? I don't know. Probably. Maybe a jump scare or two. Ooh, spooky ghost sister. Uh, can I get... Um, yep, there we go. Come on, you got to do better than this. The face thing. Okay, the face thing was like disturbing. 
wasn't scary. Stirring. Julia. Julia. <laughs> mm. You're running from your fears. Oh, that's what every game needs. Quick time events. That's the scariest thing this thing has uh, given me. Trenches. Oh, well, that's unsettling. Not scary, unsettling, maybe. Can you believe this? This is what it's trying to scare me with. Now, now I'm, um, now I'm a kid. Now I'm toddler size. That's cool, I climbed out of her womb. That is... Okay then. Hmm, climbed out of a dead person's womb. Delightful. Not scary, just creepy. <sighs> oh, yet another nightmare. She entered my dreams once more. Maybe she wants to talk to me. What am I saying? Fairy tales coming true. Yet I feel... No, no, these are the thoughts of a crazy person, and I'm not crazy. Oh, uh, looks like you had your period there. That time of the month. Oh, damn it, what's all this blood? I'm not due yet, and there's a lot more than usual. What's happening to me? Am I going to be joining Martha sooner than I thought? I have to wash up and do what needs to be done. If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. 
must be hidden within those walls. New chapter, the woods. Three days after Martha's death. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Do I have to like put a sensor mosaic up or something? Oh yeah, the bidet, uh, the bidet. It's a European thing. That's better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise he'll make me stay in bed and rest. It's not polite leaving the house in just my underwear. I keep wearing Julia's clothes. Maybe all oh, people will finally catch on that I'm Julia. I won't need to say anything. I could just say I was in a state of shock. It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. Nanny will be visiting me soon. involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. How could anyone even imagine such nonsense? And Don Attilio, he is a great friend, but what a weird view. Those cards are just a game, but most importantly, they're mine. Why on earth did they take them from me? Ah, uh, I guess I'll go get my tarot cards back. Archbishop Toccarelli will protest with the French in the city for the raping being committed by invading troops. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances, and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cells. Or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street, or who are found looking out of their windows. I shall repeat for clarity. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances, and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars, or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street, or who are found looking out of their windows. 25 ISO film. When the sun is high in the sky, it's perfect. Universal 
General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Huh. Well, it sounds like uh, this part of the story, the German, oh, the Americans are getting close. kept on at all times these days. It can save your life knowing things on time, especially before they happen. That's all. Disturbing. That is pretty, pretty disturbing. All right, so I'm guessing. Yeah, that, that's uh, my old room, but I'm not allowed in there. Where's my mother's room so I can go steal all the stuff? The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, one, whoever is in possession of <coughs> weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. Two, whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. Three, whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. Delightful. More rages on the Eastern Front. An attack launched by the Soviets after hours of cannonade. The fight on this front has been going on for a long time. Fighting in Normandy. Victorious Germanic counterattack on the road from Perriers to Carentan. Pon Heber reconquered north of San Lon. Many U.S. losses caused by the flying bomb action. Italian workers in Germany. The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. This, this is interesting. I, I'm, I do like the fact that it's taken place during World War II because it feels a little more fitting. I do hate the fact that they blame the cool nanny. Yep, she's still dead. <laughs> Sorry. Daddy, mummy, and my grandparents. It seems almost impossible that father is a soldier. Mother would have been more suitable if she wasn't a woman. <laughs> Gotta laugh about that one. That one's pretty funny. All right, so I can't go out. All I can do is develop those photos. Rat traps. More uh, wine stuffs. Ooh. When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. Um, this says infrared, so guessing it wants me to take a photo of something over here. Uh, the adjustments that and infrared. And then it's back, and then I have to get it into focus. Not sure what I'm actually taking a photo of. But I have a feeling I'm going to find out soon. This is uh, the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. You're, you're securing a farm. 
afraid that an American's gonna come over here and kill your pig? Eat some bacon? Cause I know I fucking would. Eat a whole pack of bacon. All that bacon would be mine. Oh look, cows! I call you Betsy and I call you Moo Moo. Hello. Hello, Betsy. Hello, Moo Moo. The cows. That must be Chinzy and her little calf. Nope. Betsy and Moo Moo. And you're a bear. Ooh, I'm a Nazi. Ooh, ooh, I feel dirty. I need to take like a five hour long shower after the oh, playing this game. I scrub very hard. Ooh. I wonder if this game is banned in Germany only because of the whole Nazi thing. Like, I, I know they just made all Wolfenstein all playable over there. All right, what do we got? Oh, more lenses. Let's get the lenses first. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. With this lens, everything gets bigger. Red filter for super high contrast photos. Okay. I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, no, no. I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right. My voice is awful. It cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. Huh. All right, let's uh, try to These figure all this out. Everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Damn my head and these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. Vitamin D deficiencies will do that to you. Uh, let's see. That's the recent one. That's the German one. Let's do the German one first. Uh, bu 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 bu. There we go. I, you just gotta bob your head, you know, and like, dreamer mode is enabled, so. Before <laughs> I stick around too long and get too many spoilers, how far are we in? Uh, we are two hours in. We are two hours into the game out of a seven hour game. So you haven't really missed much, uh, eHope98. Let's put this in the album. Like, the scariest thing so far about this game uh, is the quick time events. That's it. That's all you gotta be worried about. Scariest thing. I've come to judge how spooked all they... Yeah, it's just, like... Not even a jump scare, dude. Yeah, like, if you want to be genuinely scared... Uh, like amnesia or something, right? If you want to be genuinely disturbed and see some very fucked up shit, this is your game. Uh, 
Outlast made me pee. <laughs> yeah, Outlast would do that too. I, I could see Outlast doing that. Uh... There we go. That looks right. Also, not too scary then. Yeah, just very disturbing. Extraordinarily disturbing. That That's it. Also, you're playing as a Nazi, so have fun with that. Marth, uh, uh, everybody here is a Nazi. What do you see, album? I am collecting the clues. Like, it, it could get scarier, but so far, two hours in, I'm just disappointed, really. I thought this game would be a lot more scarier. Like, I'm just like, eh, you know? Well, I don't think anyone feels bad about the oh, dismemberment when they Nazis. <laughs> you know, you raise a good point there. <laughs> you, you raise a good point. Brain preview. Uh, sure, let's develop all these photos to see what I can find. Because I, I don't know what's uh, on these. And I should probably find out. That's probably important. I might come on, line up the thing. Go, there we go. All right, let's see if this tells us anything. Anything at all. Who's the murderer? We need to know. You eight. What? He who flees from the light joke. Maybe hides behind it. Film? Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? Sounds like a Dumbledore quote. Yeah, it kind of does. Like, I love how the, oh, the music, oh, like, kind of stopped playing now for uh, everything. All right, so that's the one that we just did. We got to figure out what's on all of these. Guessing that's a photo of me and my sister. I'm going to, like, I, I think I should develop all of these just to see if I can uh, figure out what's happening. Like I, I like I figured the game is seven hours long. I'm gonna try to go for completionist, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, why why not go for completionist? Alright, let's see what's on this one. Reveal to me your dark secrets. Please. Secrets of darkness. Dark secrets. Kadal. What do we got? It's Absolutely nothing. Gotta have a hundred percent. Yeah, it's all like, like when a game's this short, you gotta do all hundred percent. True. I could I, I could actually speed this up if I really wanted to. All right, yeah, let's just start skipping ahead. Here is this photo. And come on, we, we gotta get the line up. Line up. Line, thingy, thing. C c come on, there we go. There we are. We gotta get the picture perfects. All the times. What dark secrets lie on this? I think this is the one of me holding my sister. 
Is it? Let's find out. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the White Lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. I mean, in that instance, she's not wrong. Look at me, I'm streaming. Oh, come for the moral uh, encouragement and everything. Would I be doing this if I was a crazy person? Of course not. Wait, no, wait, yes, maybe I would. I, I don't know, you know what I mean. All right, so we did that one, did that one. That's me running. I, I don't think I see anything in this photo that would be of all relevance. I mean, we're going to try. It feels more like a murder mystery than anything else. Uh, I hope it really does. That's what it feels like. It feels like a murder mystery. With uh, like less emphasis on the horror, psychological horror. Just a lot of fucked up shit. Ah, uh, okay. And that was the last page for this one. Come on, line, line up. There we go. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing anything on these photos. It's all black and white. Everything's all black and white. Old World War II cameras. Apparently, your father's a general, too. Like, uh, I should be okay with it then. I feel like I should be okay with it then. I was looking for stuff to stream when I finished Little Nightmare 2, but I'm such a baby. Yeah, uh, this would be a good, uh, this would be a good pick then. They even have a streamer mode. So, uh, you won't get DCMA'd with all these stuff. I, although I, I, I wish I'd known that sooner because I was listening to the opening song for like a whole five minutes because that song was really good. So, kind of kicked myself in the butt with that one. All right, so that's it for that one. Let's develop this one. I think this is the one where I'm rushing to go rescue my sister. There we go. Okay. Like, this is the only time-consuming thing about this game, is you're developing the photos. This is, like, a very photo-heavy game mechanic, and this is all you, like, she's really done so far. Yes, I've undressed, and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Uh, I hear planes. I hear planes in the background. That's not good. It's kind of... Why am I hearing planes? Are the uh, Americans that close? I don't think we're that close yet.
Oh, like I'm, I'm willing to wager like the very end of this we're gonna get bombed and like all this stuff's gonna just like go oh, I'll be destroyed then I'll be like shit no and I'll be like damn it and then the game will continue on for another five hours as I try to figure out who killed my Artha and it's about Absolutely nothing in there because all these uh, that's right all my cameras have like a timer on them uh, Then there was this photo Come on, we, we gotta get it just right I'm a stickler for all uh, making it perfect There has to be something we're missing in these photos. All right, we got one more left on all oh, this reel. Then it's like the last four photos. Well, off to bed. Thanks for the oh, help. Hey, but why though? Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you hope for the follow, man. Thank you. And I shall do just that. Uh, and y you rest well. D don't dream of crazy things like this. It will really mess you up, though. Dream, dream of happy thoughts, like... Zombie apocalypse killings. Yeah. You be safe, too, by the way. Take care of yourself, you hope. Better. Thank you. I'll try to dream of it. <laughs> like, the first 10 minutes of this game is probably the most disturbing. Actually, no. First, first hour. First hour. After that, it starts to chill out. After that, you're gonna experience some shit. All right, last photos. What do we got? There has to be a clue somewhere. We need more clues. Clues to find murderer. This one. Uh, man. There we go. Probably gonna be one of these photos One of these last four photos is probably gonna be something really fucked up And what do we got Me running to the bridge No, wait, no, it's just the bridge Okay, so the last ones are from the first main camera then the one I was actually working on before everything got fucked up. I don't see anything that would be, uh... Cause for concern in this photo. we got still nothing two photos left there's something in that photo so let's save that one for last yeah, come on come on come on get, get, get do the thing Surely did a thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Boom. All right, so the last photo that I'm looking for is definitely the uh, third from the last. So basically any, any photo where I could actually see something were all the photos. Okay, so I didn't actually have to do, uh, go and develop every single photo like a dum-dum. So what could we be missing? Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. That's it. That's all the photos I had. I don't have any other photos. So what do I do now? Dante's Inferno illustrated by Dore. Always hanging cheery things. Lady, you and I have a difference in cheery here. My bike, the wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. All right, so I'm looking for a bicycle pump. What do we got? A bicycle, things to do. Bicycle, visiting nearby places, uh, but not with a bus tire. Requirements, find a pump. Things to do, Austria had a white lady who lives in the lake. Nanny always told me, oh, stories we could, uh, it has some truth. Requirements, tarot cards, go to the lake. Tarot cards. Mommy took my tarot cards. Uh, I used to play with them as a kid. And the newspaper. Uh, it might be on the table. Requirements, read that. Things to do. Uh, things to do. Additional info might be on the table. All right, so I'm looking for my tarot cards. The white lady in the bicycle. Where the hell am I going to find the bicycle pump? Didn't, didn't we read the uh, newspaper through all the way? Yeah, we read the fighting in Normandy. Is there another page? Yeah, we we read all this. So, mommy uh, took my tarot cards, so I'm going to have to get my tarot cards from mommy. I haven't been upstairs yet. Okay, so that might help. Um, a letter. Okay. Dear mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You will see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. Wait. 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 Martha was the one in the water. Martha was beaten. And strangled. Probably. I'm guessing. Then whoever sent that letter knew that uh, this mother who hated Julia could potentially kill Julia. Where it was intending to be me. And then instead she killed our favorite daughter. Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Erene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. 
Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologise for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them she saw my true future which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But Probably the latter. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? There's some truth to that, though. This is Mummy's jewelry. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. Okay, so we're still looking for a pink key. That'll get me into the other room. There are more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared. Is that a car 98? Happen. Looks like a car 98. I like the car 98. That's one of my favorite guns. Okay, we got the tarot cards. So, what do we she need to find? Everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. So we need to find now the bike Nets pump. Nets catching butterflies, poor creatures. I had so much fun with them. Those pills are literally everywhere. There's more right there. Okay, so we're looking for the pink key. The key to Martha's jewelry box. I'm already dressed. We've been looking for. Where would the bicycle pump be? I know it's probably not in the bathroom. Oh, and we know it's nothing's in there. Where could my mother have hid that key? We read the newspaper today. There is no bicycle pump in here. That's the kitchen. Huh. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Yeah. Right, like I'm guessing it could be over here by the barn stuff. Oh, we keep rabbits too. Probably because they breed so freaking quick. Alright, so definitely not this way. Once we find the bike pump, we can probably figure out where... Oh, we no, we gotta get to the lake. So, we just gotta figure out where the bike pump would be. And also, where that little key is. 
we know where Maria's key is, although we could probably get to the bottom of uh, how she died. But I'm guess guessing it's definitely something to do with the pregnancy. I know the mother here hates Julia. So it most likely has something to do with that. Hates Julia, and if Julia is pregnant, what does that mean? And since we're twins, she could easily mistake uh, me for my sister. So that would mean like she, uh, like maybe, maybe the mother killed me out of rage. Like, you're not supposed to get pregnant. I'm impotent. I'm jealous of you. Oh, what's this? Uh, another photo spot. Uh, out of focus. There we go. It must have been Lapo, the dummy. There's little wonder why everyone thinks there's more than friendship between us. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this thing leads me back up. So. Let's see, we got a happy room. Uh, requirements to find keys. In the letter, it does not say where she left the keys. They had a pink key ring attached to them. Things to do. I found this note among mummy's things. It's Martha's handwriting, but it doesn't make any sense. Dear mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at 7 and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha. It's in Martha's handwriting. Was my sister trying to kill me? And then she got confused? No, that wouldn't make any sense. That'd be stupid. Oh, another infrared thing. Okay. Interesting. Uh, control. We need infrared lens. What's that? Subject trained and focus probably exposed requires add ons. Got it. Yes. Moving on. Oh, the main gate's open. Okay, cool. So we actually could go do stuff. If we just find that key. And the bicycle pump. I haven't been to this side of the house yet, so maybe there's something over here. Looks like a little path down to the river. I always wanted to swim here when I was with Nanny, even when it was cold. I mean, it's like a little tiny river, so it's possible. Be very awkward if uh, my sister was trying to kill me. And then she ended up getting killed instead. I came here to fish when I was little. I went with that ever so kind man who worked for my father. Who knows where he is now? Maybe he joined the war too. Probably dead. Probably dead. Like five bucks says who's dead. D E D dead. There's another door here. But I don't know where that door would let out on the house. Okay, so I, I think I've looked everywhere I could for the last two things. 
because we can't find the pump and we can't find uh, the key but we did get two more photos and I'm guessing the photos may help me uh, with some clues because uh, one was an infrared so we'll, we'll look for it as we go back inside and then we'll just head to the lake because we did get our tarot cards Um, uh, we we know the tarot cards are important. I definitely don't see a pump around here. All right, let's see. Let's develop this photo. Then let's develop the mysterious photo of mysteries. Oop. All right, then the last photo we all just got. Maybe that will give us some kind of clue. You needed an infrared lens, so... Guessing you have something important on you. Okay, I cr- uh... A crossroad, one path towards life and one towards death. More writing, how very strange. The path that leads to death. Could that be the actual road that leads to the cemetery? Hmm. I will take that as a hint. Going to definitely take that as a hint. Might find something there. Uh, yep, definitely don't see anything else here. Where'd my dog? Like, I don't think they had embalming back in these days, and we've had that corpse in our house for like four days at this point. Truthfully, I, should, I am more worried about that than I should be. Oh, like, there's a smell. And can, can we go out the gate without my bike? I think we can. I, mean, I don't know. It just feels weird that maybe my sister was trying to kill me. Okay, we can't go out this gate, so there must uh, might be some more stuff uh, over here then. Maybe this is like a little work shed. According can we get in? Nanny, this was an old windmill. It oh. has been abandoned for as long as I can remember, and it has always given me the creeps. So no, can't go in there. Oh, a letter. Tuscans. Throughout Italy, the people are fighting against the German invaders. Over a third of Italy has already been liberated from this loathed invader. We know that you are doing a lot to prevent the Germans from strengthening their power over you. The day of your liberation is approaching. Your freedom is certain. Your region is of the utmost importance in this war of liberation. 
hinder the Germans by refusing to cooperate with them in any way. Transport is essential for the German troops and their supplies. Your region is the centre of the transport network south of the Apennines. The Triangle of La Spezia, Florence, Livorno is of great importance to the Germans and their hope to maintain a yoke over Italy. Tuscans, double your efforts. The day of liberation is fast approaching. Unite and do your utmost to speed up your liberation. Hmm. Are, are we going to help the Americans? Are we not going to help the Americans? I, I, the, I'm not sure. Like, because I know we got a lot of Nazi propaganda stuff all, all around our home, so. Not sure how I feel about that. But like we we got Nazis, we got uh, the war, and the murder of my sister. Does this lead me all the way into town? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Go to the town now. What are these ideas that randomly pop into my head? Okay, so no, I can't go to the town now. Then why are you telling me to go find a bike pump? Oh, another infrared spot. Uh, okay. Use the camera. Too bright. Uh, no, haze. This green tends to make uh, closer to white. Fires add ons infrared. How do we get it not as bright? Oh, yeah, that's right. We lower the exposure. I'm dumb dumb. Okay, can we go up here? Do I actually have to go all the way back to the lake now? Or is this gonna like send me back also? I'm taking care of that Tuscany villa. I'm drinking fine red wines. I'm fancy today. Mmm, delightful. Does the bike give me fast travel if I find the pump? I like fast travel. This is, um... Hmm. Not sure what I was expecting. The thing is basically locked up and I can't get in. Yeah. This is probably a bad idea on my end. I think we need some music here too. I tell you, streamer mode without any music is kind of disappointing. Good thing I never shut the hell up. You guys can listen to my soothe and elegant voice. Oh, sorry. So, uh, soothing. Soothing and elegant voice. Okay, so. Get, uh, get into the room. Uh, find out about the note. Find the bicycle pump. So, okay, okay, I, I don't think I can get the bike, oh, the pump yet. It's not highlighted in red. I'm guessing I can only do the, oh, red things. The white lady, strange note, and happy room. But I don't know where the damn key is. I'm guessing that may come up. At some point. I'm guessing all we can do, like, maybe she probably dropped it on the path or something to get rid of it. Don't let anybody know, you know what I mean? She'd probably be in a shed or something. I was locked away in a building somewhere. You know what parents were like during this era? They cannot trust you with the truth. They must feed you only lies. Only lies. That this truth you will know. 
button once you have learned that we feed you only lies, then you can learn the truth. Your network prepared. Oh, nope, that's light. Explore all the cracks, all the crevices. Find what we're missing. Maybe something over here. Maybe it has some kind of like PTSD flashback. This is an unnerving place. I had never been here when I was little. Nanny kept me well away from it. Okay, so this is like a little cemetery then. I, I don't see anything standing out. Like, I don't see any markers. I'm not seeing any take a photo here. So this must be the cemetery though. Time I hear buzzing like that, I'm reminding of like zombies or something. Universal sound effect, I guess. This must be like a little this muscle. Place. This never used to be here. Looks almost like a mausoleum. Another entrance, maybe? Okay, a little unnerving. The plot thickened. Like soup. With a boya base. Hmm. Soup. Bees are normally an indicator or something. Another grave. Are, are we just taking a long path around all the graves? Oh, look, there's a house. Okay. Can we get close? No, sir. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the first place I inspected when I uh, came here during the night. I don't see any keys or anything, though. More a bike pump. Your water? So did I just completely go the wrong way? Am I not supposed to be here yet? I'm guessing I'm not supposed to be here yet. That, that's my, that's what I'm thinking. All right. So where does this path lead? Ooh, you look like a path. Does this lead anywhere important? Uh, no, you just lead right back to the start. Okay. That leads me all the way back to the house. All right, so now I guess we just got to follow the road the other way and get to the uh, the lake. Hmm. Okay. Like we went there, that wasn't it. I'm trying to remember how I even got there. Wait, do I have a map? I do, I do have a map. Okay, so we gotta go up there.
I'm right here. This is the river that's the lake. So All right, so I am going the right way then. And there's the bridge, and that will lead us across, and then that will get us also to the lake. And that's where we... just doing it's dangerous i know but i want to follow them and see what's happening things that will only end oh the gunfight in the woods okay things that are a bad idea Wait, so am I a Nazi or not? Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. Du Idiot! Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch. Scheiße, lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie liegt im Sterben. Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. I need more subtitles, damn it! I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. So I give you back your appearance.
I see with my eyes. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides, Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damned smart and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back it's blindfold. Interesting. <sighs> Damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. Oh, I ruined my favorite shirt. My things, objective updated. New chapter, the burial. Four days after Martha's death, 9.15. 
Looks like Mother has been here all night with me. Or rather, with Martha. She even left her medication behind. She can't live without that now. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Uh, are they taking my oh, shit she... now? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be all right. Huh. I would like to spend a moment with my sister. Just me and her alone. Before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. Final farewell. An old-fashioned fishing uh, thing? Yeah. You like to listen in on conversations by interacting with the door. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise she would have bled to death. Yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. Well, I, I'm not even close enough to figuring out who all uh, murdered me. Oh. my bag. Thank God. I think I finished reading the letter, though. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Uh, it is. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Six, nine, three, four, right? Number six, nine, three, four. Use number six nine. Is it a phone number or a combination? Violence against citizens continues in La Romola, and once again, General K's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. The blow from the gun shot in her back could have killed her. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. 
the New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the Battle of Poggi Ponzi, on the 18th, they are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pisa. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausting for the invaders. So, we do know somebody actually, uh, killed my sister. That was most likely purposely. Outside, the 200 ISO film works well. New letter. General Edict K. New rules on curfew and... Yeah, we read that one. Go up here. We're looking for that pink key still. My things. Got it. Yep. Okay, that's done. Say goodbye to your sister. Happy room is uh, oh, available now. It's in red, so I have to find the keys. A white lady. We were saying, oh, we were trying to get to the uh. Ah, uh, two. That's handwriting. Strange note. All right, so where could that key be? Attempted murder in Laura Mola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister was the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Particularly what's Over happening in Russia right days, now. Cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. No one ever believes truth. Basically Russia right now. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. All right, so... I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, nanny. You're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Oh my god. Julia. My little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I... I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that, actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. 
Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Oh. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Oh. 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 Oh, my Martha sister's not here anymore. To the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Hmm. Okay. That um. I have to suck. Like the one person you could trust with the truth, and she's gone. <laughs> there has to be like the reasoning here, you know? Alright, let's go develop those two photos. And oh, we'll get some more hints. Trying to figure out the little secret things going on here. Was these no I, yeah these two and come on come on focus 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 fa 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 eh eh no 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 come on come on good enough. I already read this one. Yeah, I already read this one. So this was the one I didn't read then. Come on. You just you, you got to line up. Line up. Do the thing. There we go. Perfect. Like, personally, I was, like, totally worried that this game would be too adult for everybody. Okay, what's this say? If you pass over a bridge with little dignity, Turn immediately, the stone is there. Okay, are these riddles pointing to something? Like a treasure hunt? Let's try Pass to... Pass over a bridge. It doesn't matter what their origin is Dignity. or who wrote them in the first place. A bridge with little dignity. Is it referring to a small broken bridge somewhere? In the woods, perhaps? I think that's where we'll find the key. All right, my sister can wait. Let's go find the broken bri oh, bridge in the woods. Like, the dead person's not going anywhere. I, I, I can rest assured on that, you know? So. Uh, do we have to go up? No, no, the path I needed to take was down here somewhere. I'm guessing I can only find things if I have, like, a clue to find things. I th I'm guessing that's how this works. So, we are looking for a tiny bridge. A bridge would be over water. A bridge... Uh, necessarily would be right where we got shot.
So that may be the direction we need to fa oh, go towards. There's some water. Bridge with little dignity. Kind of like me. There is a wooden, br oh, a wooden bridge. Looks all raggedy and beat up. We cross a bridge, oh, a wooden bridge. A little wooden bridge of dignity. Shit, I should ask my nanny where the key was before she got blown up. All right, all right. Uh, bags, scrapbook. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but... I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. Two more unread pages. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy. Or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Huh. Interesting. Okay, album. What do we got? Pass over a little. Uh, if you pass over a bridge with a little dignity, turn immediately. The stone is there. Okay, there it is. All finding something like a treasure hunt. Let's try to solve it. Doesn't matter what the uh, their origin is, who wrote them in the first place. A bridge with little dignity. Is it referring to a small broken bridge somewhere in the woods, perhaps? I feel like this is the treasure hunt. It could also be that little bridge over by the front of the house. It's where uh, I ran into Lapo before he died. That red fabric could have been a part of Lapo's uh, scarf and or he uh, handkerchief. Is there another bridge in here? Uh, one other bridge. There is one other bridge. Okay. So we'll go inspect that bridge too. Is 
the right way to that bridge? It is not, but I think we should go investigate over here anyways. Oh, what's As this? Revenge, the oppressed people grab the slaughterer by the throat. Adolf Hitler, the Italian Communist Party. Revenge for Lapo. Uh, okay, so I'm still definitely a Nazi in this story. I am still definitely a Nazi, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Still not sure how I feel about that. Oh, uh, uh. another infrared camera spot. Okay. Like my camera knew instinctively what to do. Uh, control adjustments. Click. Small bridge with little dignity. Are you the small bridge with little dignity? Wait, are all the infrared spots not telling me like, uh... What, like, what it is? It's just like, it wants me to take a photo? Because this is a small bridge with little dignity, it's like... Is it leading me to more hints to like where I need to go to discover the truth? Is that it? I think that might actually be it. Immediate, uh, turn immediately. The stone is there. Okay. And yeah, there's a stone. Across the bridge. And immediately the stone is there. And there was the infrared, uh, the infrared marker there. So I think that's what's happening. It's like it's leading me to the part where the stones and everything are, like where, where the photos are. Guessing though, we still need to, uh, go to the back of the cemetery and try to get some photos. I'm just gonna be used to hand access, uh, hidden areas on the island. This isn't a good idea at the moment. Oh, okay. Cool. We used to access hidden areas and the island. Interesting. Very interesting. There's more hidden areas there. Okay. Hmm. All right, so let's go check out the cemetery. See what's going on there. Uh, not run into a wall. For whatever reason. Maybe if there's like a clue or a hint. Because if it's, start it's starting to feel like we're gathering up all, all the endgame items now. Because we, we got the scissors from the very beginning. And we were like, oh yeah, that's all probably something important there, you know? So I'm guessing the more we progress with the actual story, the more uh, we can find for what we're looking for. 
Like we, we can grab all the items. Are I should wait for a foggy dawn before I photograph them. This will increase the presence of spirits. All right, so those are the graves I gotta look for. Cool beans. Now we know what we're looking for. All right, I uh, don't think there's anything else we can do except develop that photo and go see my sister. So it kind of like I think it has like a internal clock where the more you progress the story, the more options become available to you for you to find out the truth. It's just a thought. Do wish I could fix the bike tire though and start biking everywhere. That'd be make make life so much easier. Guessing the bike pumps in my room somewhere though. All right, what's on this photo then? Oh shit. The water splashes into the water. Easy, the stream that enters the lake. No, it can't be that easy. What else could it mean? The water splashes into the water? Fountain. It could mean a fountain. One of Daddy's many photos. Who knows who these other people are? Probably the German soldiers who shot me. Yeah, like the war water splashes into the water. It could be a fountain. That would make sense. Uh, telephone numbers that could be used oh, by dialing numbers has been discovered. Okay, yeah, no. I don't need a lapel letter. Wait, no, I do. Five. Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. 6934. Six. Nine, three, four. You called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number. It means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of a German general, Erich K, has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph, town on fire, to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. 
You may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapu? Top of the presents for video playing the oh father. Oh. Oh. Like the guys shot me. They shot me and left me for dead. Fuck them. Table, I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. Alright, so Secret base. Maybe that Ah oh, fuck. Maybe that um Ah oh, shit, what was it? Mausoleum thing. Maybe that mausoleum thing uh, has the answer. That could make sense. Is it possible? Is there a fault line nearby? Didn't they used to bury them back in the day? Like, uh, if uh, I'm a daughter, okay, put, put myself in uh, her situation. If I'm a daughter who loves my father, but I don't want to get my father in trouble, the best thing to do would be to not tell him. Because if he knows, oh, okay, get, uh, guessing to go say goodbye to my sister. Oh, <laughs> ominous. Poor little one, he's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. Can we grab the letter first, actually? No, we can only put the sparrow down first. Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. That's why I'm still dressing mine! Commune of San Casciano. Province of Florence. Death Certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, number 174, part 3, series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. And send the book. There's only a few signatures for my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, 
there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you too. Holy water. It's only water and yet there's something special about it. Hey, I was right. Making a big fuss. Fountain. Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. I don't know. I just have a feeling. Uh, I hate like the if. Wolf, yet it seemed as if the raven wanted to bring the little bird back to life. All right, there we go. If that's uh, if that's the thing I needed. Where's that raven anyways? Maybe only so it can kill it again. I I'm not sure, Where where's the raven? What am I supposed to do with the raven? Do I follow the ravens? Let's check our objectives. The ravens! Find the raven! Things to do now. You can use the telephone to make calls. Requirements. Cemetery. Find scissors. Cut wire. Find telephone wire. Uh, must be foggy. Newspaper. I read today's newspaper already. All right, so find the raven. Ah, found you. What's up, little guy? You're trying to show me something, aren't you? An omen? Oh, what's this? Dress. It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. That can't be good. I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed. And I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that, had it been her. I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. That's uh, along the lines when of what I'm thinking ended, right now. I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive to exist again. Music disabled due to streamer mode. Da da ba da 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 ba 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 da 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 ba da 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 ba da ba ba. Giving you guys some tunes, cause music is disabled for streamer mode. Da 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 da. Wait, no, actually. here, Julia. Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf. Yet, no. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? 
You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Uh, yeah, uh, the stream just crashed, so... Hopefully, oh, uh, we didn't miss much. Uh, checking everything real quick. Sorry about that. Everybody hooked on the story right now. I am dreadfully sorry that this has happened. Just gotta fix OBS real quick. Uh, yeah, we, we are still live. Okay. Is the game Talk still on the screen? Yes. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost mother. Your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. New chapter. The White Lady. Five days after Martha's death. 6 a.m. Gotta pause that so nothing messes with my connection. That's weird. Normally YouTube will just uh like shit on me and go, no 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 no. You uh you lost connection, so uh-uh, sorry. Can't can't continue the stream. Gotta go. Bye bye. Nope, nope, nope. But no, no, uh it actually just let me continue from where we left off. Okay, cool. Normally does not happen. Roll with it. Uh, it's counted as a blessing in disguise, right, guys? Oh, yeah, uh... I got a new photo to develop. At least now I can keep wearing my clothes and... ...not have to worry about stuff. You gotta love the fact that when the stream cuts out, it's actually, uh, when I start doing the whole singing thing. Yeah, uh, kind of, um... Yeah, I, okay, so I'm basically, I'm basically locked out of the house. Cool. Mother of the year right here. Getting more and more convinced that she murdered, uh... My sister. This door is open, though. I, I, I can come in here. Shuffle. Deviation. Divination. That one. A chariot. Wheels of Fortune. The 
hanged man. Let's make it. It will all change eventually. But luck will not be my ally, and everything will be very difficult. Oh, only one divination per day. But today is the day I find the bike pump. Good. Good. The yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. The green filter. Useful for landscapes. Okay. And did we get anything new? I think we had like one new photo. Yeah, this was like the one photo I wanted to uh, take. I don't know. I just had a feeling. Let's see if there's anything there. I don't think there is, but we're still going to look. Or it did, it w will it not let me because I messed up the timing on the last one. You know what, just to be safe, let's all uh, render that last one out. Yeah, develop this photo. Yeah. And come on. Come on. Yep. There we go. Hey, perfect. There's the one with the water. Um still saying fountain. The water uh splashes into the water. All right, let's see if we can go find the rest of the stuff that's hidden around the house now that I'm Julia, not Martha. Convinced my mother was trying to kill me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I am definitely locked out of the house. Never mind. Jeez, I am so unloved. Like, wow. I wonder where she got that slut thing from. Hmm. Anything? No, no bike pump? Anything around here? Oh shit! Oh no, the fence has been destroyed. All the chickens. Cows are dead. Jeez, what could have done that? Even the pig. It looks like it was slaughtered with a knife. Is someone threatening us? All of our livestock. Literally all of the livestock. Wow, that is dickish. To be fair, though, I get it. They're Nazis. So... Kinda deserved that one. Actually, there's a new path I didn't notice. Oh, this path just leads up here. All right, I uh, guess that's all we can really do. Like, every place is closed off, except, like, the whole cemetery stuff. So, let's go meet with the white lady and try to uh, figure things out. With my luck, my mother will show up and try to drown me. I mean, she just wailed on me and my father came to my rescue. He's... Beating up a woman who was just shot and you being so dumb you couldn't even tell your daughters apart. What a dumbass. 
Like, you have to be really, really dumb. Like, I even know how to develop photos, and you thought these things were just appearing out of nowhere? I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. All right, let's see. Too distant. Uh, control. Adjustments. Infrared and thing. Check. Too distant. Uh... Wait, no, 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 we, we, you, you're in focus. In focus. Too distant. Uh, okay. Subject framed. Cool. Too dark. Raise the exposure. We are two for two. Uh, OBS seems to just hate me today for whatever reason. So. Hopefully this doesn't keep happening. It's awkward that OBS keeps crashing like that. Yeah, da, da, da. Let's go over here and get the thing developed, though. Let's see, develop the photo? Come on, reveal to me your secrets. And we got probably absolutely nothing. Oh, Here's the grave I've been searching for the spirit of a prisoner, just like the white lady. He's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Oh, wow. I actually got something from that. Was not expecting that to happen. Huh. Definitely didn't see that one coming. I love how he's like basically naked though. That was actually kind of funny. All right, so we got that done. Got that taken care of. Got his photo. Some buff dude sitting there reeling from that has to be one of the developers has to be like one of the developers has to have a sense of humor here oh. we need to go oh another infrared Uh, partially exposed, partially framed, subject framed, okay. Wires add-ons, 
Shoot. That's interesting. Feel like we're getting closer to the secrets here. Ooh, mad bad. All right, so. Now we just come down here, we try to meet with the white lady. Because if uh, that photo was real, she just died in a bombing, so grah, my nanny can't tell me shit right now. Oh, there's the hand. Without all the necessary elements, there's no point traveling to the island. Like we got the oh scissors, right? My mother's tailor scissors. What do we need? Uh, we got the tarot cards. Look at the mop. Uh, this has to be foggy. My personal object. My personal object. So it's something in there that's my personal object. Oh, yeah, my clothes. Wait, didn't I have a roll of film in my clothes? It could be the element that links my world with that of the lady. It has been here for a few days in a place that is both mine and hers. Without all the necessary elements. Oh, lover. Okay. Lenses, feel free for red photos. Tripod. Uh... Take a photo of the grave in the woods. Develop the photo and check if there's anything unusual. Must be photograph. Uh, the lover. But Nanny always told me the story. Oh, before it, it has some trick. The lover. What is? Oh, uh, look at the map. There's no point traveling to the island. What is the lover requirement? Happy you find the keys. Dear mother, I have something to tell you, but Julia's pregnant. Yeah, yeah, we know. Find the correct grave. Oh! No. <laughs> So the guy, <laughs> the guy, <laughs> the buff naked dude was not the right guy. Oh, no. Like, hey, I have a photo of your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh man, that's way funnier than it should be. Okay. Oh, that's funny. So I'm I'm actually looking for a different grave, different grave entirely. But 
Could it have been that tree? Is, is it that tree? German air raids uh, again. How do I get in here? So we're we're looking for a different grave. An entirely different grave here. Okay, so Yeah, you know what? Let's go develop the uh the tree branch thing. I wouldn't even know what to look for. I gotta find the lover. That one was giving me like kind of like an identifying mark. So maybe that was it. So hopefully that will tell me something. Develop the tree branch. Come on. There we go. The last step the last between step between the bloodied flowers under the sign of obedience, the sign of obedience. If the light was the church, the sign of obedience could be the cross. Huh. Okay, okay, it was K to bring that up, and that for the album. Uh, infrared film and lens. Isn't this, uh, the, the guy I'm looking for? Am I looking for something else? I know, obedience. Am I looking for a cross? It's very vague. I guess I just go back and try to get more photos from gravestones, I guess, because I don't know what the hell I'm looking for now. I think that's uh, the one we're looking for. I, I'm like it's not giving me any prompts. So I I figure that uh, like that had to be right, right? Like we got a photo of a guy that you would suspect would be this person's lover. To 
super foggy here, so maybe I'm uh, going the right way on this. I would suspect something in there, but I, I don't see any other uh, options. If this game gave me waypoints or something, that would really be helpful right about now. Well, you need to do this. You need to do that. Oh, yeah, are those more graves right up there? I feel like I have the photo of the lover. It's just not giving it to me. I'm guessing there's like one more spot I have to take a photo of. Uh, sure, let's take a photo. Roll, student mints. That looks like a lonely grave. The Empress unlocked. I, I just got an achievement? Call the Empress? For a Is my intuition actually helping here? I, I'm not 100%. Are there more graves here? Yeah, there are. Okay, so yeah, these are the other graves we save here let's uh take photos of all the graves and roll with it i guess I mean, do I think I'll get anything from this? I don't, but no harm trying, because it says I didn't uh, find the lover. So let's go back. Let's take some photos. Oh, let's develop the photos, I mean, and see if we found anything. Da, 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 da. I think this is the one I uh, found in the woods. This way we'll at least know if uh, anything's actually there. Doesn't look like it, though. Yeah, nothing. Wait, that wasn't the one I took in the woods. It gave me the weird achievement. This one was. Will this one have the woman's lover in it? Let's find out! Nope! What's up? 
gonna pickle busy. Is that, it? Is that what you're telling me? All right, I'll be right back, everybody. The dog tells me he has to use the restroom, so I'll only be gone a little bit. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. We know if we take any photos of the graves, nothing will happen. Find the correct grave. Uh, well, that's still what we're looking for. Look at the map. Oh, okay, so the lover is up top there. Somewhere in that vicinity. Communication cables over there. Oh. Oh, we can actually go get the communication cable today, too? Yeah, I, I just realized that I also can, like, cut the cables and do everything like this. So. Me, big brain. Have to stop. Uh, with the informant stuff. What button was that? Uh, okay, so we're... Okay, it's like at the crossroads somewhere here. Oh, okay.
That's what they get for shooting me. My father probably wouldn't believe me anyways. German propaganda, my ass. A German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should this wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. Okay. Get down. Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. I love how my dress is kind of just like clipping through everything here. Alright, so the German tanks are actually getting really fucking close. So now we gotta uh, get over to the barns. These guys are coming in, they're slaughtering our livestock. Send out a uh, decoded message here. Because I know in World War II, uh, a lot of Italian families, once they realized they were fighting the Americans, didn't really want to be a part of it anymore. Because uh, they have a lot of roots here in America. So maybe I'm one of those families. Like, my father's a Nazi, my mother's a Nazi, who's probably uh, killed my sister. And I am an asshole going, you know what, fuck all of you. Oh, is that, is that the telegraph machine right over here? The telegraph must be hidden in one of these feed bins. Uh huh. I have to start every message with the code word. I saw the tank on the road, and the road is near the house. I guess I have to communicate something like that. Um, it's got an accident. We'll set the current conversation and it will have to be replayed. Are you sure? Yes, because I can't remember the damn code word. What was the, what was the code word? Uh, they give me a code word. Objectives. Uh, happy room. Strange note. Communication. Uh, town on fire. Use the telegraph and remember the code word. Town on fire. to start every message with the code word. I saw the tank on the road, and the road is near the house. I guess I have to communicate something like that. Okay, so... Tank... Where do you need to... Uh, all the dashes... Last word. Um, I put the code word first. Down on fire. Tank. All right. Close. Confirm. Is there a one for house? Ah. And at least seven words. Move last word. Town on fire. Tank.
Uh, house. Oh no. Located. The words you need to all oh, agree to a message. Town on fire, tank located. River building cast, defensive map, pole positioned, received, need road town, find near. Uh, their road? One, two, three, four, five, six. At, at least seven words. And on fire. Tank. Located. Near. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, near. Yeah, no. I need to think of, uh, I need to think of how to do this. She's saying she's giving me a hint. I have to start every message with the code word. I saw the tank on the road, and the road is near the house. I guess I have to communicate something like that. Tank on the road, road near house. Okay. Town on fire. Uh, tank. Ear code one, two, three, four, five near house town on fire, tank near road near one, two, three, four, six, seven. Tank near road near house. Town on fire. Tank near road near house. I'll add Bend. over at the end to make it clear that I have finished. Oh yeah, I gotta put over on here, don't I? Derp. Think near road, near house, uh, over. Short press to send dot. Press and hold briefly, uh, to send dash. Damn it. I got the length of the sound wrong. I'll try this word again from the beginning. Uh... Damn it again! I need to be more careful about the length of the sound. No, another mistake. I need to focus more and think less. I need maximum concentration and complete mental silence, or I'll never do this. 
Um, Balls. Balls. If they're asking me to send coded messages, I want you all to know that they are fucked. But you would just says get good, uh, get get good. Select the words. Uh, select the words in order to decrypt the message. Oh, you're kidding me. You're gonna make me actually work. Select the words in order to decrypt the message received. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Dash. Oh no. Three dot. Dash. You cannot read Morse code. Why are you making me do this game? Why? Why are you like this? Why are you stop making me suffer like this? Yeah, I've selected the words. Now 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 what do you want me to do? Three dots is V. One dash, the dot. One dash. I don't, I don't understand this. Follow the dot, uh, or dashes to get the correct letter. One two. Oh, okay. One two three. Uh, then one dash. Then, uh, and one dot. What? Oh, it's S T E. S T E. Is there an S T E? S E R? Where'd R need to be? All the dots or dashes to get the correct letter. With three dots. Then a dot and a dash. God, I wish somebody could explain this to me. Hmm. 
I'm gonna come over here to Google. And uh Martha is dead. Um Morse code message. Uh all Morse code solutions. Cool, all right. And uh let's see. We need to find flying deer ball building over and out. Okay. You you're not telling me what they they, they said? I wanna know what they said. I would like to know what they said there. Come on. You give me an answer. I'm I'm not making any progress here. I hate all of you. You none none of these websites are telling me anything at all. I'm not. I I I, I select the words in order to decrypt them. Oh, message received. I I did. I did, and it's not telling me what the answer is. There's, uh, there, there is nothing. Fuck it, I'm just gonna guess. Uh... Uh, what, what are you telling me? Come on, you gotta tell me these things. I need answers. Received. Uh. Need. Defensive. Line. Map. Near. Wait, no. Leave near building Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Looking forever. Received need defensive line map. Leave near building beside river. Oh, leave near building. I wouldn't have figured this out. I would have been stuck here for hours. 
Besides, that's why we have Google, my friends. Uh, and then it was over. No, something's wrong. Better try again. What? But I, the, the, that's what the YouTube video said. Be defensive. Fine. Yeah. I hate this. I hate this. In map, leave map. Why couldn't this have just been automated? Near building sides. Uh, where's river? That makes no sense. Bitch, I'm putting in what the YouTube video says, and I that that has to be right. It says received need. Defensive line map. Leave near building besides river. Need. Defensive. Your line. Line. Map. Leave. Near. Leave near building beside where's river? Where is the river? Received need defensive line map. Leave near building beside river. They are. They are asking me to find a map of the defensive line. There is one in my father's study. There. It was over and out. That's why I kept screwing up from the all oh, YouTube video. And yes, did I just cheat to get the answer? Yes. Would I have figured that out on my own? No. Photograph the map. I would have not have remembered that. I would have screwed it up. We would have been stuck here waiting for a few more hours. And now my objective is to go take a photo of the map in the house of which I cannot get access to. Why? Because my mother's a cunt. Yeah, I can't get through. All right, so can't do that one. Find keys, strange note, find a note of mom, mommy's things. Yes, I know. Love her. Find the correct grave. Look at the map. All right, so I have to go up there. So 
let's go find out what all we're after. Gotta go find the lever. Not this way, though. All right, we are in the right spot, though. Is it something up top? Oh, okay. There's actually just something in here I needed. Oh, his necklace. If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me, I have no doubt. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Okay then. Let's go do that. Let us go talk to this lady. But first, we'll be right back. There we go. Having some technical difficulties with OBS because it apparently OBS does not want to give me any love today. Okay. I'm monitoring the situation very closely. So I'm looking for that boat. Alright, I think we're almost there. Then we can get to the, uh, little river thing and find out what the hell is going on. Then confront my mother, the murderer. Weird, though, that she kind of was... I, I, I really assume that she's trying to, uh, kill me. And ended up killing her favorite daughter. Now she's really angry. At least the boat controls are actually pretty nice. Good. It's creepy that this uh, is actually the same one from my nanny story. He used to take me fishing many years ago. I don't understand why my mother never wanted me and Martha to do so. Um... But where do I park the boat? 
You think you'd just give me a cutscene? Do I have to go around it? Do, do I have to back in? Oh no, there's a pier on the other side. I'm an idiot, okay. Okay, yep, yeah, this is dumb. Between the OBS and this game's uh, numerous bugs, this is dumb. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Cut off some of my hair, talk to a... Witchy woman. Maybe have a picnic. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. So, like, what do you want me to, uh... Do I cut my hair? Uh, do I do I take a photo? What do you want me to do? Uh, requirements. Oh, did that one. Fine. Look at the map. I'm at the map. An empty roll of film. A roll of film? It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. With a bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I would then finally have an answer. Was it really mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. That's snippy, snippy. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. I love how it makes me like do this with every single card. This is dumb. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have, I am only a vessel, like water, like air, a vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Um, that one. The Chariot. The tower. 
You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. The moon. Oh, that's bad, right? The moon's never a good thing, right? The devil. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow. And without time, I am lost in the dark. The Irio fan. The high the priestess. Daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. The Hanged Man. Ooh, never a good doll. I don't want to talk to a lady whose lover was hanged. The Fool. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companion. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. Death. Oh, right. This is the last one, Rebirth? I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have you must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. Okay, that one got me just a little. That one got me. Okay, can I swim indefinitely? Will I start to black out? Is this all a dream? I feel like this is a dream. This is a really weird dream sequence.
Oh, it's a World War II fighter plane. A lot of death over here. Guessing I'm swimming towards the light. That looked important. Jeez, I can hold my breath for a while. Ah, there's my sister. Oh, she was hanged. Hey, it's the key. Eerie. Okay, cool. A little creepy. Speaking with the white lady confused me even more, but at least now I have this key. All right, let's go open the door. Oh, wait, no, it's not the door. It's uh, the one to my little sister and saw my, my twin sister's thing. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I'm no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. It worked. In fact, mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it, and you will hear my voice. Farewell, Martha. Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. Hey, what There's are we... There's nothing here. Nor here. Uh, the giant record here, is that it? Boy, she hit it real well. Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. We are equals in this sense, too. It's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken, and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. We had sex, and I never had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? 
Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Oh. I wrote huh. a card to mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me, and to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Ugh, angry father and mother. Ugh. You're really gonna make me slow ball this? Okay. Going all the way down. she's made you suffer over the years unlike you i remember all of the harm she has done to you and it is my fault take my place sister you will live a better life and i will be able to rest in peace knowing that i at least try to put right what i have done wrong i will go now my last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully hi julia I was oh. upset, unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Oh. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. Interesting. A um What's to do now? Oh okay. Martha wasn't there and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. Um, um try, trying to figure out what I need to do now, come on. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed, and I always overslept. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha. Hmm. So... Was it the mother? It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. Well, yeah, to be fair. My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid.
I searched for one of Daddy's pistols to defend myself. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. New chapter, the graveyard. Units of an Indian division crossed the river Pesa on a vast front and they advanced two kilometers south of Monte Lungo. Meanwhile, the New Zealand units have reinforced their positions that run from San Michel to La Romana. Near La Romana is a Michelangelo villa of the E family where General K. Lucne was bombed by the artillery. Luckily, the general and his family. Uh, gotta get the focus right. That's it. Hopefully the image comes out clearly. Responsibility for yet another act of senseless vandalism. But at the scene, an anti-German propaganda fire was... Dad loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. So it, it does look like my I mother killed my sister. Florence. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. I never did find that little pink key. I don't think I need to call anybody. I'll leave it in the letterbox. Have a good day. Another telegram of condolence. Isn't it a bit late? Uh, you got mail. But where, where is it? Don't know. Uh, let's see. You've got mail. Just take a look at it. Film and address. Develop photo. Let's see. Okay, let's go for because I feel like the film and the dress will be the nail in the coffin thing. But where's the letter box? Where where's that? The game doesn't really like teach us where the letter box is. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Full star. Dear Mrs. Irene K. Following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Or maybe even worse, she wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Go to the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence, death certificate. Yeah, we, we read that earlier. Okay, so. Now the mother's trying to get rid of me. And that's why we took the pistol. That is fucked up. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, let's do a tarot reading. The fool. I mustn't care about what people think. Or fear will prevent me from facing the music. It will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. Destiny is inevitable. The end waits for us.
right, so that's getting kind of fucked up really quick. Uh, print photo. I can't get in there just yet. Things to do. Go to the cemetery. Oh, I didn't read today's newspaper. Let's see if uh, Italy's fucked yet. Back on Hitler. Good. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli. In the eastern sector of the battlefront, the troops of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Greve, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. Attack on Hitler. After an attack carried out by a group of traitors, Hitler's words are, In having escaped, I see a sign of the duty incumbent on me to continue my work. Bombings. Damage caused by the bombings between Florence and Siena continues to increase. After the disaster at Poggibonsi, rubble and power cuts are the order of the day. Sabotage of the phone lines in La Romola. Hmm. Telephone cables have been cut, causing danger to general safety. Any damage to the information service facilities is punishable by death. Oh, good, they, good thing they haven't figured out it was me yet. Hey. Destiny awaits for no one. All right, so the cemetery was just up here. Because I, I, yeah, she, her body's not there anymore. Okay, yeah, and uh, looks like the gates are up. I'm not 100% sure on that. Actually, before I do something really dumb. Uh, strange note. Go to cemetery. Martha's body at the cemetery. Uh, I think I'll go the right way. in the family crypt. That place is scary. I don't remember, but... Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids to see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. Now Martha's down there, alone, in the dark. She must be frightened. Uh, well, I hope she's not frightened. She's dead. is here Not oh now. let's hope the caretaker isn't around that man gives me the creeps you're a dog you're in like an angry dog not like I heard an angry dog Oh, no, it's one of the planes. Okay. This door is locked, but I must get in. Maybe I can find something around here to break the lock. Objective updated. Find a way in. Oh, wow. This game gets fucking dark. These are perfect for breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker comes back. Yeah, I, I have a feeling like this is not going to work out well for me in the end. Just right now, anyways. This. Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. 
My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. An Italian family that got cosy with the dirty Germans. Bastards, that's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore, but you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Italia. I, I like this god gravekeeper. I find myself siding with my family, but I'm not sure whether it is right. Instructions for the automatic telephone machine. For example, if you wish to call the number 0573, pick up the telephone from the hook and bring the receiver to your ear. You will hear a continuous tone. First, Beep. place your index finger in the hole displaying the number zero. Turn the disc clockwise until it stops. Let the disc return freely to its resting position. Repeat the same steps for the numbers 573. Alright, we got the key to my sister's thing. New camera uh, thing. Alright, where's my sister's? Because I'm guessing she's in one of these. I'm not even sure if that's right or not. It is nice, though, that the caretaker of all people is, uh, Vive la Revolution. Nobody likes a Nazi. Yep. Down to the crypt we go! That says, just give me strength! I need a dragon. Little guy, red, I named Mushu. I can see Mushu. why you were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. Down. Oh, that's not good. She would have definitely not liked that. May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. Look away, children! That's why this is an adult stream! that up real quick just in case This is definitely a thing. This is, uh... Okay, I can see why this was pe pulled from the PlayStation Store, guys. Was pregnant. 
pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads. Twins again. They always said that it ran in the family. I was all the more shocked. I was doing things that I had never done before. I do not know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? Yeah, pa pa pa. Subject out of focus. Out of focus. Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you, and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. I love you, Martha. That is, um... Oh, God, can I at least wash my hands? Doctor, I must thank you for your help. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even our own dear Don Atilio seems to not understand the situation. Irena, please, consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree, but in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Eric, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. She's sleeping. I must take advantage of this. I will make her talk. She will reveal the truth out of fear. She thinks I can be silent by calling me crazy. But unbeknownst to her, I will record everything. Everyone will know what you have done to your own daughter. I would make too much noise and wake her up. Oh, but... Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. <laughs> Dear God, what have I done? She forced me. She killed Martha. But who in the world will believe me now? They will take me to the mental asylum. Those rolls of film are my only hope. Um, okay. So that's who had the keys to my childhood bedroom. I could have guessed. My God, sooner or later, more bombs will land here. Then everything will come to an end. Damn, the power is out. 
It's impossible to develop that role of film now. Oh, I want, I want to press T and get the uh, the lights back on, but I can't. Okay, so I actually have to go up. Oh, I can't see in the dark. Oh, this is bullshit. Upside, oh, the bitch is dead. So now I finally have the keys to my old room. But why was it locked in the first place? Oh wow! Damn. All right, let's go see if we can fix the generator, get the things printed, and go into the room. Generator's there. But I hear it puttering away, so what's wrong with the house? Happy room. I'm gonna dress. All right, so. We can't actually. Um, fuck, what was I going to say? But we can't actually get get in there. Something's wrong. Oh, yeah, the, everything's on fire. Okay, everything's on fire. So I'm guessing just go to my happy room. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I have a lighter still. And my hands are still covered in blood. Finally, I can enter my room. It's like being a child all over again. I used to play with the puppets by reenacting what was happening in my life to clear my mind. I want to do it again. At the beginning of any puppet act, there was always the legend of the White Lady. Otherwise, the scenes I was reenacting were worthless. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire. But death, not love, was awaiting her. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. You're here at last. Going on? Why are you acting weird? Uh. I know you kissed another. <laughs> this is so dumb. I would never do that. I love you. I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. What did I do to you? Um, In despair, okay. the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy.
<laughs> they searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman whenever events take her back to that sad day. <laughs> These sound effects. It's like somebody from whose line is it anyways? <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> now I can begin. First of all, let's clarify what happened the night before the cursed 16th of July. Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do? Will we become poor? Oh, she's using sign language. Oh, honestly, that's kind of cool. Did you see Lapo yesterday? I saw him leave the barn. Weren't you there? Huh. Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? I want to take some photos. This is I interesting. The fact that they gave her like uh, sign language as a puppet. Let's go at dawn. Mummy sleeps heavily anyway. You know she's been taking that medicine. Wake me up. Very interesting that they even have like the metal things up uh, in the back for this. Sure, great idea. So they swapped beds and everything too. <sighs> yes, it happened like this. Then in the morning, Martha went to the lake pretending to be me to show her pregnancy. She knew mother was going to follow her down. Now I can only guess what happened when they met at the lake. Hello, Mummy. Take off your clothes. I want to see your shame.
You're even doing that with the puppet is kind of amazing. Ta-da! So you are pregnant. Your sister was right. What do you want from me? How dare you talk to me like that? Well, at least I had fun. Oh, that's right. You tell her. I'll punish you for this, whore. Try. I dare you. Dung. 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 This might be exactly what happened. I will never know exactly what happened, but I think I have an idea. And after everything, I shot my mother. No, 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 I didn't shoot. What actually happened? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. Huh. A little arm. Wait, why are my hands not bloody anymore? And another little arm. Another small leg. Wait, am I dismembering oh, my mom? Only the head is left. You know, I thought that was suspicious earlier with the mob. What is happening here? Um... under the bridge but but it was just a game this however is not a game i was just playing it's just a bad joke under the bridge the church the town speak the white lady
Get rid of the head. Look at the map. Okay. Uh, the gothic line. The head. Oh no. I have to dig a hole. Film in the dress. Okay. It, can we? Power is back. Now I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered. What if I I strangled my sister? I, I was jealous of her in Lapo. Where's that uh, map one, though? Oh, yeah, let's develop the map one. Because we need to do this anyways. And then we can find out the truth behind everything. Print should be fine like this. We can see detail clearly. All right. This looks like the one that would be perfect. Come on, come on. There we go. time did I actually get there to start doing the cameras? Was I just lying to myself the whole time? Oh dear god, so it's true. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. Maybe I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. But if there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. I know it's not right, but I can't do this anymore. It was not easy to pull that trigger. But I did. Once again, though, I was not dead. They all died in the blink of an eye, as if it were the most natural thing in the world. But for me, it seemed impossible. When I fired, I unintentionally moved the weapon enough that the bullet deviated and hit my eyebrow. I was bleeding and there was a great pain above my eye. The voices grew distant, but nothing more. I fainted 
and then regained consciousness not long after. I woke up tied to a seat so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. On the seat next to me was my father. He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. It was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. But those punches... I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, all it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Then he ordered my father to be executed. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. Then I took a blow harder than the previous ones and I lost consciousness again. I woke up again on the ground, untied and completely empty inside. All I could feel was pain. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. Huh. That is all manners of fucked up. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What do you do with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. Talk. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will tell you everything. I found that strange note when I woke up, and I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check, but you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but... You did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed, you were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up. Don't speak. Don't say anything else. <laughs> what are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theatre in my old room. 
there I could find something in myself for her. So I rushed to go play with it again. Uh, are we gonna go play with puppets one more time? is all oh man they're so fucked up wow this is really fucked up this is um not how i expect the story to go Really not how I expected the story to go. Mummy nearly died giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's, and father's stories. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try, though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. How are you, madam? Uh -huh. I feel a sharp pain. Do you need anything? I love how they have like all the old world uh, paintings and stuff up here. I can feel it. The time has come. Whoever did the voice acting for this, I applaud you. That is just some great work. Like, even though the game is, like, really fucked up, you know? <laughs> Dumb and funny with the voice acting. Everything is ready. Help! Something is wrong. Edith, help! Irene is not well. Uh, where is he? How are you, honey? <laughs> I'm getting weaker and weaker. Arena is sick. I am the doctor now. Don't worry, Arena. The pain you feel is natural. Yeah, you would know that because you're a man, right? Push, Arena, push. Oh, okay. This is so dumb, this quick time event. It's our little Bobby. The baby is born. I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. It's going to be okay. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much ever since I was born. Oh, gotta put the dog. <laughs> gotta pet the dog in all the video games. Right, blood. He says yes. Ah, uh, just a... Mummy, I'm thirsty. 
you just had a drink. Mummy, I have to pee. Um... Oh wait, it's it's that one thing that was never oh I'll finish up top. Mummy, I'm sleepy. That was that painting we saw earlier that never got finished. Now, that's the dog. Ah, <laughs> hey, the dog. Mommy, I'm hungry. That's enough. Go to your room. <laughs> Get out of my sight, I can stand you no longer. <laughs> How dare you? I will make you pay for that. Like actual money, or what are we talking about? My hands are not enough. You need to learn properly this time. Sorry, it was an accident, Mummy. Please don't hit me. Oh, at least that explains why she didn't like the canes. some fucked up trauma this is just a game is it only a game i believe the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood this is the only place i have ever been truly happy these are my memories then is this actually my life Make you cry? I have not done anything. Now I will make you cry. Oh, we're gonna get the cane again, aren't we? You rude girl. Martha, don't you want to play with your sister? This is the. Uh, this is getting Julia, very fucked up, guys. Sister. Not gonna lie. Kinda. What are you doing? Are you crazy? I'm angry with you. I will beat manners into you, you stupid little girl. Come with me now. Sorry, Mama. 
Sammy. I'm so sorry. Come with me. I will put you in your place, girl. I've uh, kind of messed up there. Sorry, Mummy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Stay still. You know, if she hurts this dog, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna feel bad about this lady who's gotten killed and beheaded like that. Now I'll make you want to bark. No. Leave my dog alone. There's no point screaming, stupid girl. No, mummy, please. Sure. Now I'll show you how insane I am. Help, Daddy, help! You know, I kind of don't feel bad about killing this lady now. It won't work. Your father is not here like usual. Eat it. That is eat. I won't eat him. I said eat. I, I kind of don't feel bad about killing this woman. I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Donatilio, my priest. I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. Okay, okay, I think. There's no more phone there, only a mask. And there's that wooden spoon. We are on the ground floor, right? Oh yeah, let's uh, put that photo outside for the allies. Uh, up at there, there. All done. Delta the line. Look at the map. W where am I supposed to be putting this? I keep walking by it? Like I'm supposed to put a map, oh, like oh, the picture of the map somewhere here. Leave photo near the stream. Look at the map. Oh, okay. Over there. Let's do the... Okay, let's drop it off there. Then we'll go call the priest. I, 
kind of don't feel bad about dismembering her now, though. I really don't. She made me eat my dog. To go far away from here, I need to have a good reason. Oh, uh, can I, can I not? I can't. Okay. Let's call the priest. We will call the priest. Calling the priest. Yeah, this is... Definitely not a horror game, but definitely like maybe psychological thriller, I would say. Okay, what what's the number we gotta call then? Uh let's see, things to do. Doctor do uh sixty nine thirty eight. Six nine three eight. Don Attilio speaking. Who is it? Father, help me. They're all dead. Daddy, Mummy, everyone. Julia, come to me immediately. Don't stay alone. It's dangerous. Come to town. You can stay here with me and we can talk about everything. Okay? Okay, Father. But first I want to play with my puppets for a while. Julia, don't be silly. Come to church right away. Um, I didn't go play with my puppets for a while. No, no, I can't. I can't play with my puppets anymore. We gotta go to church. Like, I never found that bicycle pump. I got a broken pipe, a uh, broken bike. All right, can, can I get off my bike now? I can't. Okay, I can get off my bike and then I can go leave the thing over here. At least there oh, it can be some good here. There we go. The photo is where they requested. Now we can take my bike and go into town. And away we go. Oh, okay. Is this going to be one of those bless me, Father, for I have sinned moments? I think it might be. Warning, the following chapter contains a uh, scene playing self-harm. Uh, would you like to view the censored version? Uh, no, at this point. Those boys, they had all been killed and it was my fault. They were my age, and a few of them were our friends. I didn't think it would go like that, but wasn't it obvious, really? What was I actually expecting? I felt like a coward. But what could I have done? Should I have betrayed my father? I loved my father, but I also loved my friend Lapo. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing to do. But instead, it was the worst thing I could have done.
Uh, I don't want to hang out with the Nazis, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, uh, that's some barbed wire. Oh, the Nazis are literally they everywhere. They anywhere near the soldiers. Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone. For any reason. I would have got lost in the dark going in that direction. That night in July was so dark and scary. I didn't go anywhere near the soldiers. Germans okay, so wh wh where am I going then? It all caused me harm. Is I this the church? Anyone for any reason. Okay, th yeah, this is the church then. Oh. Once I crossed that threshold, I completely lost touch with reality. Everyone around me had died while I survived everything. Oh, this is not going to go well for me, I think. Yeah. I don't remember how things went. I just remember a big light and then photographs were being taken of me. There was a man dressed in white, a doctor I presume. He was asking me questions, but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Some women were talking to themselves. Others cried. Some were even covered in their own filth. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long, <laughs> incessantly, to the point where she would bleed. Oh. So they would tie her down to the bed screaming, cursing and talking gibberish for days on end. Once her wounds had healed and she was untied, she would just start again. That woman was me. They started to give me injections. What they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. I think it was called cardiozole or something like that. My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared to be quenched, it would come back, even stronger than before. In the end, though, they won. I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. Ah. Uh. This is, um, at least she had fun, you know, got a few kicks out of it, good joy, give herself a jolly. Nowadays, they just do that for fun and people let it happen. Then you're crazy. Wait, wait. 
I want answers. Don't go away. Talk to me about Martha, please. Martha is dead. I killed her to take possession of her life. I will never find peace for what I have done. I feared that would be the case. And what about Mummy? Uh... Mummy is dead. Nobody knows that better than I do, unfortunately. It's useless to try and deceive ourselves. Did I do what I think I've done? Yes, damn it. It really happened. I cut her into pieces and buried her under the bridge. God, all that blood. My God, I knew it. What about Daddy? The soldiers, did that really happen? It happened. He was shot right in front of me. Fear, pain, shame. I can't remove it. I cannot relive it either. Unfortunately, I knew that already. What about Nanny? Poor Nanny. She really had nothing to do with it. But she died in our villa due to the bombings. We saved ourselves for some time by taking refuge at her house. Privileges for being rich. Feelings don't count for much, though. My poor nanny. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. Uh, yeah, he's dead too. Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. He got into trouble and paid with his life. My dear friend, poor boy. Just as I remembered, unfortunately. One last question. The pregnancy? Martha was pregnant. Her deformed baby died with her. Maybe she was in pain. That's enough now. All of these questions are pointless, aren't they? It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? Nothing more than a puppet show. Ready oh. for everything with open arms. Even ready to kill. Legs always ready to run. The womb that conceived in sin. This is getting oh, a little bit more fucked up. Lastly, the mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. I've got this. Huh. 
Oh, yeah. On the 26th of July, San Casciano was bombed and the church was destroyed. But I was not there then. I was already in the asylum. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. The bombs hadn't killed me, and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test and the hardest one. The war ended some time ago now, both out there and inside of me. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn that page. This is, uh, it's Life getting dark. Opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. But the more devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused, and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help, but I was alone. This is my story. Thank you for being here, for listening to me. Now I am ready to leave. How long will it take to get home? Wait, is that it? Is that the end? Course of the day is impossible. Uh, it is possible to ask for help and receive it, even if we are alone. Even if we are desperate, even if it feels like life doesn't make sense. If it feels like there is nothing left for us, it is only because we can no longer see it. There is always something to live for. Something great could be just around the corner. If you or someone you know is struggling, information and crisis resources can be uh, available at safeinourworld.org. Wow, okay, that was a long game. That was a very long game. That was intense, too. I got really fucked up at the end there. Like, not, not gonna lie. Let's go find somebody to raid. Go get somebody some love. Because that, that was crazy. I'm tired and hungry. I should have probably quit a few days, oh, a while ago, but you know what? I was determined. I wanted to, uh... I wanted to see it near uh, till the end. There we go. Here is somebody. They need some love. And they're also playing the game. And everybody else on YouTube, take care, be safe, and you too on Twitter, I love you all. And uh, thank you, Lurker, all oh, everybody for coming to watch and hang out. Peace.